they don't pick it back up. I think it's because they can't be bothered to put it in the bin. It's on the field mostly. It's usually hidden sort of in bushes and things. It isn't as good as it could be. It's not that bad in shell and it's just the areas around it where it's the worst. In the back of the school you've got the brook. There's no bins down there. Children don't really think about the consequences. I don't think they really know what damage it could do. It will ruin animals' habitat so they have nowhere to live and then they'll start dying out. And it just makes the school look messy. So um, we think we should fix it. It just feels good that you're helping the environment. We've always felt we wanted, particularly in Year 7, to start off with a really good feeling that the school can be kept nice by pupils because they want it, not because the adults are imposing it upon them. We've had about 25 volunteers of pupils from Year 7 who are leading the project. Some people just came for a laugh and some people really managed to change the way that Sheldon looks. I like it to be separated then as to what they're going to be for, yeah. so who's going to be looking at some information they're going to be wanting out of the case of Okay. And they've really taken kind of control of the project. Everybody's working really hard and our teachers are really supportive and we're just trying to get everybody aware of the problem. We've got loads of ideas. I like the environment and I wanted to help, plus my friends are doing it. We've mainly met on a Friday lunchtime and we spent about 20 minutes. But as well as that, they have had a couple of lessons off timetable where they've come together as a whole group. And we've also got some Year 10 prefects involved as well who are going to kind of assist with the project. <laughs> One thing that they thought they could do was a poster competition. It seems easy, but you have to decide a winner, make the posters, make the leaflets. We've made a website. Some of the poster work is very closely linked with English in terms of they have to design their leaflets. They obviously have to think about the language that they're using, the IT skills they're developing if they're working on the computers, which means the whole school is being brought together as a community, really. There's like litter picking days. Today we're making leaflets that we can give to people to see if they want to come and help. We went and photographed all the litter around this one area so we could actually see how much there actually was. We might be getting litter monitors so if they see someone picking up litter they can go tell them to pick it up and put it in the bin. There was quite a lot of litter around the brook and in there and there's graffiti on the trees. Every day more people come here from school every Monday to Friday. Most of the time they come here and this is also quite a big walkabout area for Chippenham. If you're trying to get to the school or even the brook itself, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's everywhere. and they've done it so well and the prefects that we've had helping out as well have been absolutely fantastic they've been choreographing it and it really really looks good so we'd be the animals and we'd be doing this dance to show how it's we're happy and then we go like we die off and that that's really nice to have the older year groups mm. are actually helping the younger ones do you think that's helped to get sort of the whole school involved in yeah the definitely definitely i say it's something different um it's something that they've enjoyed doing hey yo listen it's going down just like this yeah come on yeah what's the best thing about being involved with this project the best bits about the project were probably the dance project i like taking the pictures Picking up litters worked well and the posters. For some of them it's really raised their confidence. They've got a real pride in what they're doing. They really feel that they're leading this project, they're doing something for the school. There's less litter around. When you're on the field now you can see there's less litter and more litter in the bins. It's gotten a lot better now. 
think it has made a difference. At the moment it's only year sevens and I think we should have done it for all the years, so year seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It might be that the new year seven coming up to school now take on the role and that whether they do some of the things that we've already done or maybe they've got new ways to think about how to continue it. It's all like a big equation and hopefully maybe the rest of Chippenham would like realise what we're doing and they'd help. So it's raising their awareness of how, you know, you dropping litter in school could actually escalate into a bigger kind of global warming issue and kind of seeing the link between that small thing and the kind of butterfly effect that it has. And it's damaging the earth. If we don't stop it, it could cause massive problems. You can't just think it's a little problem because it isn't, it's a very big problem. I used to do a bit of littering myself. But then since I started, I've been doing a lot less and less. Keep on telling people about it, not just say it once and then think they're going to remember it. It can be difficult, but it, in the end it's quite fun. Because you, you feel good because you've helped the environment.